All right, hello everyone and welcome back to another video. So today we are going over slightly a uh, bit of an unconventional problem, uh, but uh, all the same, we're just gonna draw shear force and bending moment diagrams for this question, all right? So hope you guys are ready, all right? Same as always, first just find the reactions. You guys should be pretty familiar with this, but I'll go over this anyway. So A, Y, um, we'll call this B, Y, We'll call this AX, okay? So since um, it's not like a, you know, a perfect beam, so there's gonna be uh, forces in the X direction, all right? So let's just do sum of X first. We set this way equals, uh, to the right equals to positive, and we have AX minus 15 um, plus 30, right? Those are the horizontal forces. Um, and then there's no horizontal reaction at by, so we can equal to that to zero, and then ax equals 45, right? So no, 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 no. Uh, ax equals negative 15. Oh, that was, oh, that was, uh, that was, uh, oh, brain fart there. Okay, which means that ax is actually going this way, but we'll fix that later, okay? So next we do sum of forces in the y direction, right? And then set so that equal to zero. So we have ay plus by minus five, and that's the only vertical force, right? That's equal to zero. So we have ay plus by equals five, okay? So next we can do sum of uh, moments, all right? So how do we, how we look at this, right? Is we can actually just simplify this question, right? into a simply supported beam, okay? So how do we do that, right? Well, first, if we take a look at the um, segment, the, the bottom segment right here, right? Um, this load, this five kilonewtons, would transfer down, right, and just act on the beam like this, right? It's simple enough, okay? Now, these these horizontal forces, however, right, since since um since they're being applied away from this beam, and then this this vertical segment is attached and fixed to this beam, right? So it's essentially going to rotate it, right? If you if you ever have something similar to an L shape, right, and then you just or like think of it as a revolving door, actually, right? If you push on it like this, right, this side is going to spin this way, right? Which makes sense, right? It's it's just uh, you're applying a rotational kind of force, right? So imagine this 30 kilonewtons applying, rotating this whole thing this way. If this BY support wasn't here, right? It just rotated this way. How about how about um, how about this one? This 15 kilonewtons over here. Well, it would do the same thing, but it would just rotate the other way, right? Exactly at this point, okay? And by how much? Well, uh, let's go back to 15, 15 times four, right? Because this is the perpendicular distance, okay, to this beam, right? So 15 times four and 60 kilonewtons, meters, okay? And then this is 30 times six, which equals 180 kilonewton meters, all right? So this, these rotational ones, once again, these rotational moments are from these horizontal loads being transferred to this vertical, these vertical segments, and then rotating the entire thing as a result. So basically we can replace these two and just say that it's kind of rotating it this way or this way, right? Okay, so once we have that, it should look pretty familiar now, right? Uh, nothing too challenging. Basically, we can draw the shear force and bending moment diagrams just from here, okay? Oh, but first we need to finish finding the reactions. I almost forgot, right? So to find AY, right, and BY, right, we can set up a sum of moments around, let's say, A, counterclockwise equals positive, set that equal to zero, okay? So these distances, once again, are eight meters and 12 meters, okay? And so 
we have 5 times 8, right? And that's spinning it clockwise, so it's negative, plus 60, because this is spinning it in the counterclockwise direction, and we set that equal to positive, okay? And then finally, we have minus 180, spinning that clockwise, right? And then plus 20 times by, the distance, and then the reaction, okay? So once we have that, we can simplify, so minus 40 plus, whoa, plus 60 minus 180, uh, plus 20 by, and this would equal to 20 minus 180 plus 20by equals zero, right? And then that would equal to 20by equals 160, and then by would equals eight kilonewtons going up, all right? I could have just plugged that into my calculator, but for some, <clears throat> some reason I had a brain fart, okay? And if this is eight kilonewtons going up, right, by sum of forces, right, we can see that Ay is actually negative, right? This is three kilonewtons going down. So once we have that, we can just go ahead and draw shear force and bending moment diagrams. Space this out a bit more. We can say shear force diagram, bending moment diagram, okay? So, three kilonewtons going down, negative three, right? Nothing in between here and here, here and the next point load, and then, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> and we uh, subtract five more, equals negative eight, right? Nothing in between here and here. Finally, at the support, we'd have eight kilonewtons going up. So that would bring us back to zero, okay? That's our shear force diagram. For our bending moment diagram, let's create some more space first. So <clears throat> we always start from zero, right? Not always, not at a fixed support, but at these hinge supports where the moment is equal to zero, it doesn't um, resist moment. We start at zero, right? And then we have this segment negative three times eight, right? This area, which is negative 24, right? go down here, negative 24, right? And then we have a 60, don't forget the moments, guys, don't forget the moments, that's a key point, okay? 60 rotating counterclockwise, all right? So remind yourself of the positive sign convention, right? If we have a 60 going this way, right? we need a 60 going this way to balance it, right? So this, according to the convention, is just negative, right? So we need negative 60. Going down, we have negative 84. Yeah, uh, let's put that there, okay. And then finally, this area, right? 12 times eight is equal to negative 96 in this area and we can go down right eight negative 84 minus one uh, 96 is equal to negative 180 right and then this moment right over here right there's a there's a clockwise moment being applied so we need the same amount right, and it would be going up and back to zero, okay? So that's it for this question. Um, things to remember, don't, don't get confused by this thing, right? When you see this thing, chances are if it's fixed over here, right, meaning it's just, uh, it just looks something like this and it's just attached to this beam, right? You can just replace it with a moment, right? And make sure all forces this, like this five kilonewtons is transferred down. Uh, in theory, I should have probably uh, added this to AX, right? And this to AX, but I already kind of solved it here. So it should be fine, okay? And bending moment diagrams, shear force diagrams, draw as usual, right? Just don't forget 
there are moments there too and moments need to be included in the bending moment diagram okay so that's all i have for this video um hopefully hopefully you found this helpful if you did uh that's great yeah good luck with your exams good luck with your studying i'll see you next video